Let's see what we got. <laughs> Quick little Discord check, alright? Uh, CSGO unwritten rules. Is this a W video? Um, is this new? A day ago. Yeah, this is actually nice. Let me watch it. If it's, if it includes, don't talk and warm up. Bro, always talking about what I'm telling you, bro. It's kind of must to know CSGO's unwritten rules to not to look out of the place in the game and the rules will get crazy. I'm do. sure most of you have never even heard about some of the last ones. Super general. When the talk warm, -up warm up ends or half ends and you freeze like that, you drop your weapons. Since default dropping key is a G, it's like a GG, aka a good game gesture. True. Literally, no one talks during the warm up. What? Don't be a oh weirdo my. trying to break the ice too early. Hello, my name is. Jacob, 34, male, coming from Texas, you- Shut beans, you up, no one cares! Come on, man, it's super general to talk during the warm-up. You got to know, you get to know your teammates, bro, because Hi. else you just got thrown into the hot water, He's you know? You it's like, listen, listen, it's like, when you go partying with your friends, what do you do? You all meet up inside of the club? No, 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 no. You have some beers before, like, at, at a friend's place, right? Vorglühn, in German, Vorglühn. I don't know the English word, Vorglühn, everybody does it, and that's the same in CS. First, you meet up, you talk a little bit, you get to know each other, ah, boom, then you go to the club, all right? Club being, of course, pistol round. Thank you, all maps, including Dust 2 or Mirage, you will be playing on one of those, good luck. You probably spell peak wrong, it's not P-E-A-K, but P-E-E-K. Super general. Alrighty, Zonic's Law, 11 to 4 scoreline at half is the most dangerous lead, Sonic's like 2 0 in football. It could provide you a false sense of security that can easily lose you the game, and it has proven to be a thing times and times again. Everyone who's better than you is cheating, that's just uh. the competitive spirit of a casual CSGO oh, gamer. Sniping. Never reload or unscope, as enemies will often peek you exactly at the same time. Timings in this game can be extremely frustrating. If a five man rush is called, there's always this one dude who will lurk at the opposite side of the map. Warm up warriors tend to bottom frag in the game. I have no idea how this counter action actually works, yeah, but it's relentless, true. so watch out for that and don't go too hard out in the warm up. Always give the auto muted guy a chance by unmuting them, and you'll understand fairly quickly why they were muted in the first place. No one buys CSGO skins off from Steam's marketplace as prices and fees are. I'm expecting hash to get. Much higher. Tanon, for example, D Market, who ah! also sponsored this video. I used the site myself because yes, you can sir. find all the skins you want. Prices are fair for buying and selling. Plus, you can find some extremely good Woo. discounts under the discount section. Yes, they offer sir. instant cash outs yes, if you need them sir. quick dollars. And their bots are one of the fastest I have experienced, which means you get your item super quick. Join in with my link. I can see who does that and will invite the largest traders in my future challenge videos. Thanks for trading smartly Vamos. and supporting me at this time. Wait, how does you see that? I don't see that on my dashboard or whatever. I only see like how much sold and so on. Should I ask them? That's actually cool, no? Should I ask them and then we do something like this as well? Videos, thanks for trading smartly and supporting me at the same time. Let me ask him, don't expose him. Now I think it may be real because they have things like that, but I just have to ask for it, I guess. Let me ask him, let me ask him. Uh, let me send him a message of this. And then, can. I see my, uh, like, affiliate code, uh, leaderboard, somewhere too. Boom. <laughs> Whoever goes first is responsible for breaking I smash my team market boys. Like Legend, you heard it from him. You heard it from me. Hey, vamo. New already know. And Mark Ukrainian startup. Eh? Right after we had this, we have a boom. It's you already thingy. know. Vents for window. Yada WD yada. Market. Don't make your teammates who might rely on you slow down because of you. Also optional, but kill the chickens. Smash the yeah. flower pots. Slash the TV. That's just how it goes. Vamo. Stay quiet during the clutches. No teaching. No suggestions. No maybe info. Especially if you have no Binge. idea where they are coming from just let your teammates play when doing a crazy boost you always call it an all of boost <laughs> referring to this one time on overpass where all of every molo kill is a 1g meister and his company literally Super general. broke the map it's gonna be the case no i think he's just showing there it is <laughs> if someone at the spawn looks at you like rose looked at jack or crouches and nods like an average techno listener then they most likely just want to get a drop from you in a casual matchmaking game, B, 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 B just means that one guy was spotted near B, nothing else. If you know this, you're gonna save your legs by a lot. 
The bomb carrier never goes in first, because if Bomberman dies and they manage to cut you off with a Molotov or other nades, you are screwed as bomb is stuck, plus in general they get to see the bomb quicker on their raiders and therefore defensive rotations will be faster as well. Don't use P2000 or something is wrong with you, USP all the ah. way. When someone is asking for I feel a like drop, that's changing now, because we've, had, we've seen so many pros in Blast World use fucking P2000. I feel like now there will be a P2000 Giga Chat era. Uh, it's uh, always up. expected that the current richest player in the team drops. Bad nade Simple, usage yeah. is commonly called NA nade due to at one point EU pro teams had better utility usage than North American equivalent. But believe me, European players can miss pretty badly. How dare you? Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Do not run or give out any audio cues next to a teammate who has been silent for a long time as they might want to try to go for a sneaky play. When you quick switch between your weapons a lot, you're an amazing player, some might even think you're a professional, and That's just me. for your info, quick switching is fully silent to the outside world. You do not buy auto sniper first, but once enemies have done that, it's game on. Rock and roll baby. No one says GG before the real end, only the special ones, and they usually do it in the round number 3. It's not over till it's over guys. Or maybe it is. When someone says stinked, 10 HP or low in a frustrated manner, then consider that they might just say it solely because of the sadness of the lost duel and the enemy could still be close to full HP. Do not remove the silencer of the USP and M4A1S, they sound stupid without them and you lose your sneaky advantage like where it takes a while for enemy to figure out the direction you are shooting them from. If anyone spots a good skin, a pro player or half famous content creator in their game, they ain't gonna keep it to themselves. Hey yo, it's me. That's just a rule. More than two ops is bad. <laughs> And it's the end of the round, plus you see off on the ground, you pick it up aka save it, obviously if it doesn't conflict the previous rule. No one talks in deathmatch or other game modes. On the city side That's against many AKs, you don't buy helmets, armor only, as AKs will one shot hatch at you anyways. Going for a pistol chump kill is often called Cookly and Op 1 Cold Serum, the second one is more uncommon to be called out though. Always go for a knife kill on the last guy during the last round. If there are more than 2 or 3 people alive from your side, it can lose you games. But after all, it's show that matters. Simple nose. To be confirmed. Oh no. By the way, yes, they lost this game. When your last teammate is alive and not spotted throughout the round, you can always try to trick your enemy with saying AFK in the chat, which means away from keyboard, which could trick your enemy to think your teammate is AFK, but they are actually not, and they might win the round. Next up, Famas and Khalil are very desperate options, usually people prefer SMGs or pistols with utility. There's a saying, pros never fake on the defuse, but real analytics show the exact opposite, they fake their defuses most of the times. The name Juan is often connected with hitting a headshot deagle kill aka Juan Dig. so when someone says hey Juan in the chat, it doesn't necessarily mean they call you with a random name, don't take it as an offense, but they probably Ooh. just witnessed an amazing that deagle shot on LAN, doesn't matter if around this W or L, as a true team you're gonna fist pump in the end, sometimes online and sometimes even admin. When you have a 1v2 plus retake situation going on as a CT, oh most of the times you don't want to stick on the bomb as you're going to give enemy whoa, potentially- Whoa, 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 what's happening to my favorite map? What the fuck is that thing? As you're going to give enemy potentially 1v1 duels because of that, but of course it all depends on the exact situation and how close enemy is. No spraying on dead bodies, have some respect please, no teabagging as well, term which comes straight up from, you know, moving your teabag up and down, but I mean, it's hard to stop ya if you're a big tea fan. Talking about respect, heavy weapons in CSGO, Negev and M249 are considered disrespectful, mostly towards yourself. If an enemy pulls out his knife, be a gentleman and pull it out too, now it's a dual time, good luck. When you see someone AFK in this spawn, you got to go for a knife kill to get 1500 of bonus money instead of a regular 300. Next up, Tarek's Law, that was born in Boston's 2018 Major, states that you will make a comeback on Inferno when the other team reaches a match point, especially at 11 to 15. 
You don't blame slash make fun Tarek's of your worst ruin. player. He already knows he's struggling. No need to make it any worse. No. Oh. No, you tell them and then they start playing well. If somebody is 08, you tell them, step the fuck up. Chat, we've seen it many, many times. At this point, it's not just a thesis. It's fucking proven, all right? You gotta fucking call them out and then uh, they pop off all of a sudden. Always. All right. Always. Usually the first person to say rush, don't stop. I'm gonna keep be doing the it. the first person to stop oh, yeah, and block yeah. everyone else. Bad spawn means you ain't gonna go for this quick entry kill. In CSGO, it's all about high FPS performance. Everyone rather goes with low res potato graphics, but higher FPS. So lower your resolution and bump up your FPS for better performance. Go, 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 go. Lots of players say nice try when someone in their team failed a clutch or NT in a short form. It holds the team mood up, which can later on snowball into something huge. Oh my. When you haven't touched the game for a long time, common sense tells you that you should be even worse than before, but sometimes the time off does a great refresh, which results you being at the top of the scoreboards back to back to back. A legend says it happens more often when you have just visited one of the CSGO capitals, Katowice, Cologne, Copenhagen or a new one, Rio. We move on to Spongy's magic number 3 rule. In short, the economy is broken usually by killing 3, since 2 saved guns can only drop 2 guns and 1 player is left on a budget weapon or no drops at all. So if you want to keep your economy decent, save at least 3 guns and if you want to destroy other teams economy, you need to kill at least 3 of them. Next up, Super drop general. AWP to low HP player in your team, also known as Bogdan's Law, which grew out from heated argument in between a former ECA rank S player Bogdan and Steel, who is one of the North America's most known in-game leaders. It's obviously a bit situational, but mostly it does make sense to let your lowest player to use the big green stick, as if that player has anything other than AWP, they'll need to put more than one bullet into an assumed full health enemy, lowering their odds of winning the gunfight. There's also a rule that if you haven't subscribed with bells turned on, you face potentially 5 L's in your next 5 games. Really? Do what you have to do and bye. Oh hell no. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want that to happen to me. Boys, W. Um, leave Nate King sound off. Nate King, super general, we all know it. Legend, legend. Are you serious right now? <laughs> <laughs>